Hello and welcome in the third part of the tutorials how to extract depth from single images and do some stuff with it. In the previous part we have prepared this 3D animation of the bee. In this one from a single image and extracted depth we will look how to prepare such a scene with books and in real 3D. So uh, as previously, I based it on the neural network, on the Midas neural network, and all of the code is available on GitHub. And this is how the image look like. So everything actually is a single plane with the modifier, two modifiers. First of all, first modifier is subdivision surface modifier, and then there's a displace modifier. Uh, of course, shading smooth. So subdivision surface that was added before, uh, simple and six levels, then it uh, I hit apply. And this is how I prepared the mesh, the plane. And the next modifier that is used is displace modifier, this one, with a direction RGB to XYZ, because this one this time I use uh, I use vector displacement. Uh, it looks kind of fancy with these colors, but basically speaking, uh, it's important to have not only Z direction in the map, but also others uh, to correct the perspective. And one more thing, uh, I have used the extent mapping in this place modifier. Uh, basically speaking, if you look at the, uh, at the geometry, as you can see, initially it's quite flat, but far uh, further from the camera, uh, it looks, I would say, more or less all right, a little bit rounded. But as I said, the perspective is corrected, and that's because we have vector displacement. Um, shading is quite easy, it's just emission shader uh, together with the map, and the map. Uh, is just is just a single image, so no fancy V mapping, and the depth extracted, uh, as I said, is based on the neural network, and everything. How to do this is in the first first sorry the first part. Color management standard is usually uh, everything is the first part of the tutorial. Um, the only thing is camera animation, so X Y. Uh, Z, uh, so X, Y is zero, Z changes, uh, rotation is zero, so nothing fancy, I would say. To put a keyframe, just hit I for a given frame uh, and change change the perspective, hit I again, and that's it. Uh, as for the file, uh, I used FFmpeg in the end, because right now it's still PNG. Uh, and EV is enough. Yeah, so we have quite a nice, I believe, quite a nice scene without any 3D um, modeling, only single image and depth extracted by neural network. Um, yeah, so basically, I believe it's quite easy. Uh, maybe it's not perfect, but from some kind of some scenes, it, it should suffice. Mm, and be easy. So this is the final result with a 3D effect. In the previous part, uh, we worked with the B. Again, just two images. So image with colors and image with the distance from the camera. And in the next part, the fourth part of the tutorial, I will show you how to extract this beautiful eagle from the image, from video. Thank you very much and see you in the next part.